Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I want to show you a couple of tricks to make it easier to create alternate layouts in InDesign. Of course, you can use In5's Magic Layout Builder, which creates the alternate layout and also adds in some of InDesign's Adjust Layout controls to just the newly created page. Justin has demoed Magic Layout Builder in a previous video. But if you want a little more control over specific objects when creating alternate layouts, you can set up a liquid page rule. Remember that you can only have one rule type per page. Now, scale and recenter should be pretty self-explanatory. They get the objects on the way, but will still need further adjusting. And that's what makes In5's Magic Layout Builder so great. It takes care of that adjusting for you. But if you want more precision control over the individual objects as a page changes size or orientation, check out the object-based rule. While on the page, go to Layout, Liquid Layout, and then choose Object-Based Rule. Let's start with each object's constraint controls. This is how you want each object to sit on the page. The first thing I think about is usually if I want it pinned to a page edge, either left, right, top, or bottom. And if you tell it to resize with the page, you can then pin it to the left and right at the same time, or to the top and the bottom at the same time. If you select an object with a page tool, you can visually see how it will behave, which comes in handy sometimes. I can see that this is pinned to the top left and the width will resize, but the height is locked. That's what those little icons mean. If I stick with the page tool, I can then drag the page size around and see how the objects will respond and make any necessary adjustments. When I let go of the page tool, everything snaps back into place. I haven't done anything permanent to it. If an object contains a graphic, you can also choose Auto Fit, and that ensures that the image continues to fill up the frame fully. That's what I've done with this photo here. You can also set the content to use InDesign's Content Aware Fit after the fact. There still isn't one all-powerful, make it look perfect at any size with one click button yet. And until then, these are just a few of the tools you can use when working with InDesign's alternate layouts to create fluid and responsive layouts within 5. Be sure to check out In5 at in5.us. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.